Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. So this week's video, I'm showing you guys easy chicken dinners. And I feel like a lot of us make chicken about once a week and you wanna find new ways to make chicken taste good. I actually heard a speaker say that one time that her life was full of taking care of her boys and figuring out how to make chicken taste different, <laughs> which could be slightly true, but I promise that you guys are going to love these recipes. It's been a little bit of a dreary week with a lot of different weather. So um, since these meals were filmed at different times, if the lighting is a little different and stuff like that. But I promise all the recipes will be super simple like my recipes generally are. And I hope that it gives you some inspiration. Also, don't forget that you can jump to any of these recipes in the video in the description box by clicking on the timestamp that's there with that recipe. All of the recipe ingredients and instructions are written out in the description box as well as the link if you wanna go and pin that specific recipe, which is really nice and handy and it's an easy way to keep your recipes all organized. Also, don't forget to follow me on Pinterest as well for more recipes. Okay, I'm gonna quit rambling, let's get cooking. Okay, the first meal that I have for you is a crunchy Parmesan chicken with a side of broccoli salad. So I personally like to have my broccoli salad made even a day before because I feel like it does the best if it can sit in the refrigerator overnight and kind of absorb all the flavors into the broccoli salad. So the first step you'll need to do is fry up four or five pieces of bacon. So you've got some good crunchy bacon bits and then you're gonna mix up your sauce. So you wanna add in the mayo and the Worcestershire sauce and just a little bit of stevia or sugar depending on what you would like to put in it. Next, you're gonna shred up some cheddar cheese. You could also get pre-shredded. I just prefer to shred my own. You're gonna want about four ounces of that. And then you could tweak around some of the amounts of this, but this day I used about a pound of broccoli florets. And a little trick with the broccoli is it actually makes less of a mess if you pull apart the florets with your hands instead of chopping them. In my last video, I put all of the ingredients on the screen. This video, I decided not to. Either way, they're always in the description box, but let me know which way you prefer. Is it distracting to have the ingredients on the screen or do you think that it's helpful? Let me know in the comments. Then to add a nice little texture and crunch, I like to put in some slivered almonds and mix it up and you got your broccoli salad. To go along with the broccoli salad, I have a Parmesan crunch chicken. This chicken is so delicious and so full of flavor. It is one that you could even make ahead of time and then warm up in your air fryer and it would still be crunchy. So you wanna take your three chicken breasts and cut them thin and then I tenderized them with a fork. Next, in a small bowl, you'll wanna whisk up your eggs to make up your egg bath. You could also add a little bit of water to this if you wanna thin it down, just depending on how you like your egg bath to be. And then you'll also wanna add in your spices to the egg mixture as well. Yeah. 
in a separate bowl. You can dump out your Parmesan. You could also buy the block and shred it yourself. And then in your frying pan, you'll want to heat some olive oil and some butter. You just want to get it nice and oily in there so that your cheese does not stick to the pan. And I also use blue diamond pans. I really like them. They are a non-toxic, um, non-stick pan that's really affordable. And I'll leave the link below for them. And there you have it, a super simple meal that could be for dinner or lunch. The next meal I have for you is some orange chicken. It's Asian inspired. And then I also have some fried cauliflower rice. So you'll wanna start out by cutting your chicken thighs into about one inch pieces and putting them onto a plate. Next, open up your bag of pork rinds and put them into a gallon size bag. You can use a rolling pin or a cup, but you just want to smash it into a powder so that you can use it to coat the chicken. Add either breadcrumbs or almond flour, depending on if you need it to be gluten-free, with the pork rinds and a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Stir it all together and then the fun begins. You want to dunk your chicken into the egg bath part first and then you'll put it through the pork rind mixture. Once you have all of your chicken ready, you'll want to put a good amount of the avocado oil into the pan. I would say maybe a good half inch just to make sure you've got a lot of oil in there and it fries the chicken up crispy. You'll fry the chicken for about four minutes on each side until it's cooked through and then you'll set it aside while you make the sauce. The sauce starts out with a cup of water and then you can use sugar or a sugar replacement. I always like to give you all the options in case you don't have special ingredients on hand, but you can also opt for a little bit of a healthier ingredient if you want to. Next, you'll add in your orange juice, your liquid aminos, which is kind of like soy sauce. It tastes pretty much the same. You can definitely use soy sauce. And then I just used a little cutie orange to um, get my orange zest. And you could use about half of a larger orange if that's what you have on hand. You'll add the other ingredients, the sesame oil, the white wine vinegar. You could also use rice vinegar if you wanted to as well. 
and some ketchup. I do use a sugar-free style ketchup, but you could use regular if you want to. Whisk it all together and then the last ingredient you will use is some exanthin gum. And if you don't have that on hand, you could also use cornstarch, but it won't be keto friendly if you're looking for something that's keto friendly. But you just want something to kind of thicken up the sauce a little bit. So you want to whisk as you go. Once the sauce is thickened, you can add in your chicken and stir it all together and keep it warm on the stovetop while you make your fried rice. All right, to make the fried rice, I put a little bit of avocado oil in the pan and then just a little bit of sesame oil. So what I'm gonna do is actually leave all of the ingredients that I use for the fried rice in the description box. And then you guys can use your taste and decide how much of each thing you wanna add in. It's not necessarily something I measure out. I just kind of pour and go and in the end, it tastes delicious. Thanks so much for watching today, you guys. Don't forget you can pin these recipes. All of the links are below to pin them on your Pinterest board. Share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.